It was a proposal for a medium-range transport aircraft of a new generation powered by four Profan engines. This aircraft had very good performance with short takeoff and landing capabilities, or short takeoff and landing as it is known by its acronym in English. It was developed in the late 80s by the Antonov Design Office to replace the old AN-12 military transport aircraft. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union in the early 90s, the program became a joint development between Russia and Ukraine. The inaugural flight of the first prototype took place in December of 1994 in Kyiv, Ukraine, but it was not mass-produced, and we will see why in this new video from the Aeropedia of the World of Aviation. The origins of the AN-70 date back to the mid-70s, when Antonov began the design work for a successor to the four-engine turboprop plane, the AN-12. But this company got the green light to start the design only in 1989. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 91, the Russian and Ukrainian governments agreed to jointly develop the AN-70 in June of 1993 with 80% of the funding expected to come from Russia. The Antonov Design Office was in Samara, Russia, but it was going to be manufactured at the Kiev, Ukraine Aeronautical Production Plant facilities. The construction of the first prototype had begun in Kiev in 1991. The inaugural flight of the plane had originally been scheduled for the end of 92. However, due to funding and design issues, this was delayed until December 16th of 1994. This was the first flight of an aircraft powered solely by prop fan engines, which were the Progress D-27. The prop fan engine uses a compressor and a turbine similar to turbofan engines, but instead of a low-speed fan, which would literally translate from English as a fan enclosed in a duct, the prop fan has one or more sets of high-speed propellers usually without a structure surrounding them. The counter-rotating propellers are designed to spin at higher speeds than a traditional turboprop, allowing for a jet aircraft. The first prototype was lost when it was a jet aircraft. The first prototype was lost while it was on its fourth flight on February 10, 95. During that flight, the plane suddenly deviated from its path and collided with the accompanying plane, an AN-72, before uncontrollably falling to the ground. The seven-person test crew did not survive. Antonov subsequently converted the static test prototype into a flying prototype equipped with a modified flight control system and it left the base for the first time in April of 1997. The initial flight of the second prototype almost ended in disaster as well, as the flight control system suddenly failed. The test pilot was forced to manually land the prototype. At that point, over $2.5 billion had been spent on the program, with another $200 million to be spent to prepare the plane for production, which was expected to have begun in 99, with 20 to 25 planes produced. But in 2001, the second fuselage suffered severe damage during a cold weather test. It was a high wing design, had a maximum takeoff weight of 145 tons, and had a range of 7,400 kilometers with a payload of 20,000 kilograms or 3,800 kilometers with a payload of 38,000 kilograms. Its maximum speed was 780 kilometers per hour, and it had a cargo capacity of 47,000 kilograms, 300 troops, or 206 stretchers.
Like many aircraft designs from the Soviet Union, the N-70 was designed as a transport aircraft that could take off and land on short runways. The plane could take off from a 600-meter dirt runway or about 2,000 feet with 25 tons of cargo and fly for 3,000 kilometers. This aircraft makes extensive use of titanium and composite materials to keep the weight minimum and increase resistance to damage. Approximately 25% of the structure is made of carbon fiber composite materials, which are primarily used in the control surfaces and the tail assembly, while aluminum and steel alloys are used for the rest of the structure. In the early 90s, the AN-70 was unsuccessfully considered as a platform to meet European requirements for a new cargo plane program for a transport plane to replace the C-130 Hercules. Antonov proposed a westernized version of the AN-70. Even the German government commissioned Deutsche Aerospace AG to evaluate this aircraft, but a lot of work was needed to convert the aircraft, including a completely new cockpit a computerized flight control system and digital control of the engines, among other modifications. In December of 1999, the Russian government had indicated that it planned to buy 164 of these aircraft by 2018. In October of 2000, the Ukrainian government estimated that their country needed 65 more aircraft. But as the years went by, and with the incidents of the two prototypes, the project became underfunded. In April 2006, Russia announced it was withdrawing from the project to focus on modernizing its Ilyushin Il-76, which were manufactured in Russia. From 2012 to 2014, work was resumed on this aircraft, modifying and modernizing many features. During that period, it made around 120 flights, totaling 220 hours. But as a result of the Russian invasion of Crimea, the Ukrainian government, in April 2014, announced that it would stop all technical military cooperation with Russia. And that remains until the day of making this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Marcos and this is the Aeropedia of Aviation World. Thank you.